Item number SCP-1040. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1040 is stored in Vault 89-Q5 at Storage Site 12. As per standard safe class long-term storage protocol, no additional care is required. New personnel assigned to SCP-1040 are to be briefed on the object using the established identity Daniel to ensure that the consistent and the ambiguous, unambiguous communication about the object is maintained. Non-D class personnel exposed to directly to SCP-1040 must be reassigned on a monthly basis. All data on SCP-1040 is to be corrected chronically through the case, through the use of protect, protect null in context to ensure that the object's effects do not interfere with normal documentation procedures. Description SCP-1040 is an antique Tiffany floor lamp made from iron and stained glass. The item displays no unusual physical properties. When provided with a 100 watt lamp, 100 watt light bulb, and electricity, SCP-1040 functions as a, as a typical for a lamp, floor lamp. The anomalous effects of SCP-1040 manifest when the object is observed or discussed by any human object subject. Affected persons will cons consistently anthropomorphize SCP-1040, referring to and or interacting with the object as though it were male acquaintance. In spite of this effect, it is impossible for subjects under the influence of SCP-1040 to be reminded that the object in question is a lamp. However, the knowledge has of little, as little if any, effect on subjects' behavior. The name and other details assigned to the object may vary by subject, but to date have never corresponded to any real individual. If any previously affected individual introduces the object to any new subject, the subject will identify SCP-1040 as if th as a, as a given persona. Addendum 1040-01 Abnormalities at Recovery Sites SCP-1040 was recovered from the home of Undisclosed following the death of June of 1991. Corresponding agents recovered Encountered SCP-1040 at the site and then escorted the object to Site-19, where it was kept in a humanoid containment cell until its properties were identified. Agents that remained that to sweep the remainder of the home reported that the light source was around the dwelling, including SCP-1040, had been arranged and decorated strangely. Examples include scarves wrapped around the exterior light fixtures. Five desks, desk and table lamps arranged on sofas and chairs placed in front of television, open books, and other arrangement entertainment media. Two handheld flashlights wrapped partially in cloth and arranged in a basinette. Three floor lamps placed horizontally on beds throughout the house. All light fixtures were under power at the time of recovery though mainly were missing bulbs. This is believed to be related to the owner's cause of death, heart issues ex exacerbated by execution. Given these findings, additional properties seem likely. I'm authorizing a stay of execution for 5G class to study the long-term effects. Dash 05. Addendum 1040-02. Additional findings. When repeated and or prolonged direct exposure to SCP-1040, affected, individu affected individuals will begin to will begin to assign unique identities to other inanimate objects, give, even when SCP-1040 is not present. Approximate progression as is, is as follows: observed effects and cumulative exposure time, two months. A subject anthropomorphizes any freestanding light fixture greater than 1.525 meters in height. Three months. Subject anthropomorphizes any freestanding light fixture. Subject develops increasingly elaborate 
relationships with improvised objects including friendship, dislike, envy, and romantic interest. Six months. Subject anthropomorphizes any object intended for use as a light source. Subject becomes agitated and or withdrawn when not interacting with the light source and minimizes human contact. Given the nature of its long-term effects, personal levels 2 and higher are strongly discouraged from direct interaction with SCP-1040. Footnotes 1. Exploration of its proper property to facilitate containment approved. 05.